Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mindy from Mindy's Crafts and Cash. <clears throat> and today I'm going to be working in two different books. I had one page to finish up in the Cat Glue book and I was waiting for an order to come in. And then I'm going to be working in the ABC book. I have a lot of new things to put in. So we will get busy. First we'll start with the ABC book. I collected uh, several things over the last uh, week or so since I worked on this, and we will get busy. Um, I have some bigger things that I'll put in first, and um, I just want to pull a candle off of here, and the word weekend I cut out, and a Victrola. Remember those? I don't. And look, I cut out this toilet. <laughs> So that was kind of fun. So let's get these done first, and then we'll go to these uh, ephemera holders that I created. So let's start with, uh, we'll do these in alphabetical candle. So we already had more candles, but this is like a birthday candle. So we'll Stick it right here, and we'll give it another one. That'll show up a little bit better. Okay, these are fun to put on cards when you're making a birthday card. Okay, now T for toilet. I was at um, an event, and somebody, a crafting event, and somebody, uh, Put a message on one of my videos what's in here something in here that's making this not fold and somebody put a message on one of my videos have fun fussy cutting or something and i wrote back right now i'm cutting a toilet okay let's see where should we put it i think maybe right over here would be good i'm gonna use liquid glue for this. I lost my blue pin, but I had purchased a little set because one of the tops had come off. So I have extras now, which is a good thing. I just hope that the blue pin didn't roll somewhere that I'm going to end up stepping on it. Okay, now we have a toilet for tea. Old-fashioned toilet. I've seen these where the box is up above. Okay, now we'll go to V for Victrola. And this one would be good with a glue stick. It's thin and I don't want it to get all wet. Oh, looks like I got a nice fresh glue stick. I'm running low, I have to order. Let's put it right along here. And then W for weekend. Put that right up here. I'm gonna trim off a little bit with my new scissor, which I love. It's the great big one. And I always said I was such a crooked cutter. This really helps, really helps. Okay. That's the Tim Holtz biggest scissor. And it's been really good because I've been cutting stuff out of magazines and you get to take a big long cut all at once. The weekend, now that I'm retired, every day is the weekend, but I really used to look so forward to the weekends. For a couple of years, I worked four 10 hour shifts and I picked Wednesday off. And that was so much fun because uh, after Monday night, you felt you only had one more day till a mini weekend. And then on Tuesday, it felt like Friday night. And then Wednesday night, 
it was easy. You just had two days left till the big weekend. So I did that for a couple of years. That was really good. Okay, we got all those things in. Let's start now in R, A, B, in alphabetical order. So let's go back to the beginning under A, B. I have a bottle and bingo, so we have bees. We'll lose, use the glue stick for that. And the bottle is a sticker, but we'll see if I can get it off easily. If not, we'll just throw some glue on it. Let's put the bingo card right over here. And let's see how we do with this. I'm not going to fight it too long, but give it a little try. And no success. So, got it right in my hand. Here it goes. I'll put it right up here. Pretty blue bottle. Okay. Oh, I also have bus. Got a bus. That's a really old fashioned bus. I used to take the bus all the time to go into the shopping district where I lived. It was called Flushing. And from the time I was about 12, I was allowed to go by myself. Things have changed. Okay, now we're up to C. I have a few for C and D. Let's see what we got. I sort of accumulate them, you know, for a while. I have coral, dolphin, that's D. I have a cup, pretty cup, another sticker. Nope, give up. Stick it right here. Usually I trim out the edges a little bit, but since I have such bright paper, um, I figured it's fine. Uh, Carl. Stick it right here. Boy, look, the C page is done. Now let's go to D for dolphin. That'll fit right in here. I have a few for E. Look at that, I cut out two envelopes. Okay, I have etc. I'm gonna use the wet glue for this. And this is a little thick Tim Holtz word. But that is okay. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, and so forth. Okay, and I have an envelope. Which one should I use? I think we'll use this one. These are cut from my postal ephemera books. So pretty. And for F, I have a farmer's market label. I'll stick that right there. Okay, and this will hold. I've been trying to clean my craft room today. It is a huge job. Um, where, where did that little thing go? I think I have something in the H's. Yes, I do. Uh, G, H, I have a goblet. <laughs> I have to learn the alphabet. So yesterday I was applying for some insurance and they were doing a memory test 
So first I had to say the numbers from one to 10. Then I had to say the letters from A to I. Then I had to go number letter, number letter. So I had to do one, A, two, B, three, C, four, D, all the way up. So that was kind of interesting. Then I had to name all the boys' names I could think of. Then I had to name all the fruit I could think of. Then I had to go boys named fruit, boys named fruit. It's funny how your brain kind of, I don't know, how, how it's a challenge. <laughs> but I, I did fine on it. I was so happy when that was over. And then I had these balance exercises where I had to stand for 15 seconds with one foot right in front of the other and one foot like this. And then I had to do sit uh, uh, sit to stand in a chair with no arms with my arms crossed. It was it was quite a quite a challenge. But anyway, I'm glad that's behind me. Okay, um, R. I think I skip some. Let's see. Okay, so I use this ribbon in my uh, challenge. Uh, with Marguerite Miller, where you do a challenge a week, and I had a little piece left over. So what better place to put it than in my ABC book? So we will put the ribbon right down the bottom. And I also have raspberries and rescue. I knew that bottle was still around here somewhere. Oh no, this is a label. I don't want to do that. I'm going to pull it right off. I don't need all that other stuff. Let's throw that away. And it was from an ad about rescuing cats and dogs. And here's a raspberry. Hmm, I wanted to cut that out a little bit better. We'll just sort of go all around. I won't be too fussy in my fussy cut. So what are you up to today? I hope you have a nice plan for the day if it's still the morning where you are. Today's Mahjong with my friends and we'll see if I win five dollars win ten cents lose five dollars whatever it will be it will be okay raspberries now s I have a skeleton suitcase Something else is in here. And a sandwich. Okay, this goes for the tea. Oh, I already had a sandwich. Well, we're eating for two days. Here's another sandwich. And here's a suitcase sticker. Again, we'll see if we can get it open. If not, uh, uh, almost. There we go. Yes. Having my nails done tomorrow. That'll be good. They're really overdue. Suitcase and sandwich and skeleton. When I went to x-ray school, I really had no medical background at all up to that point. And the first week we had to learn, the first day probably, the first day's homework was to learn all 206 bones. That was very interesting. Okay, now truck. There's another truck, but that's okay. This is an antique truck. As I find them, if they repeat, that's okay. We'll put it over on this side. 
This came from that male ephemera book. And that is the end of that. Okay, so we'll just put these back. Oh, look, see, I didn't, I knew I left out the whole middle. Oh boy. <laughs> I left out the whole middle of the alphabet. Okay, let's go to I and J, see what we got. I have a jar and I already had a jar, but I really like this jar. So we'll give it another jar. And I have more jars. Well, I guess there's not that much for J's. Okay, let's see. KL, I have live or live. Stick it over here. And put a couple for M. We have mushroom and mailbox. I think we'll stick the mushroom right here. As I glue my nail. And this obviously came out of that beautiful postal ephemera book. Okay, that was MN and now OP. Let's see what we got. We have a pitcher and some pears. Oh, you know what? These are stickers. The other one I cut out, I... Could have just pulled it off. Okay, pears. And this is uh, another sticker that I can't get. Okay. That's why we have glue. And that is a little picture. Okay, the book's coming along. I'm really enjoying it. Next, we're going to finish up one page in the cat glue book. Now, um, another thing I'm going to do also, which I haven't done yet, is I want to put ribbons on here and make it look real cute. But the one page that we did that I didn't finish was where the cat reminded me of when I was an, a newly married person. Well, well sticky. The cat knocked over, uh, went after a chicken and knocked down, here we go, to knock down the chicken, knock down all the platters I had. So I ordered some plates and I'm going to cut them up and show them like broken platters on the bottom. So this one looks a lot like a platter. So we will kind of cut it crazy to show it was broken. We'll put that down here. Again, no sticker luck here. So we'll just stick that down. You know how this stuff shatters, it gets everywhere. It was a huge crash, I heard. And we'll cut up one other one. I love blue and white. I have a whole collection of blue and white china and uh, mugs and all kinds of stuff. It's my thing. I don't know why it appeals to me so much, but it sure does. And I'll put a little story up here, so, because it looks kind of funny. Okay. 
And actually, I'm going to put up a pretty plate that's not broken up on the pea page. And then you will be done for today. L-M-N-O-P. Okay. Which one? This is pretty. So we put on a pretty blue plate and a pretty blue picture. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you would like and subscribe, have a great day and I'll be back. Bye.